All right, mail day today. Um, we got one, two, three, four packages. Okay. Uh, this first one is from uh, Eight Inch Collection. I probably was in one of those breaks. I don't know what which one this is. Um, but we're gonna find out. Okay, looks like this is a I believe a three one two um, yeah three box mixer. Um, so let's see how we did. Um, doesn't look like I have too many top loaded cards. That's okay. You're not gonna hit every time. But sometimes it just takes one, right? Okay, so out of the wrappers, see how we did. We got uh, <clears throat> some tops pro debut. Uh, looks like Lady Jordan. Okay, looks like I had the uh, Red Sox. Some rookies, some base. Always good to flip these around, especially on the tops. Check for the number to 300 advanced stat. Those are sneaky. Sometimes they're face up, and the only thing that tells you the difference is an extra stat lines, uh, different stat categories in the back, and then a small stamp up here where it'll say out of 300. And if they're, they're so dark uh, in the right light, you could just fly by it and not even see anything, but you kind of tilt it and then catch that gold. Um, Jackson Merrill. So I had the Padres, obviously. Um, Soto, Musgrove. And I always check if you have a couple of these in a break. And then um, you have the Soto here and the Soto over here. Um, the reverse image. It's, it's a different image. But uh, the banner of his name will be on the right-hand side. Uh, I, I think rookies are like that. Um, Adley, a couple other guys in that set. I haven't checked, the, checked it on the checklist, but I did find a couple when... Uh, Going through my box break. Okay, so nothing doing there. And then this looks like um, more cards. So I've got an insert, Juan Soto, All Star insert. Here's the chromes from the jumbo box. Montesino, Sedano, just base chrome. Uh, Marcelo Mayer, that's a good one. Yoshi, Casas, Yoshi on the debuts. And then Rafaela. And then there's a Soto, black gold. Actually, I may need that card for my set. Okay, so that's a real nice, uh, this is a paper foil. Rafaela for the Portland Sea Dogs. 47 of 99. Right, cool. All right, next up, this is just a small lot I bought off the seller. Um, more or less. Um, just a randomness lot, um, but it's a lot of cards that I was able to pick up pretty, pretty cheap, and um, just because I bought quantity, so uh, these are kind of the highlights. Uh, Schuster in the debut, Halloween color, Nolan Jones, Ryan Nota, Gabby Marino in the debut, debut Alvarez, debut Tovar, Pumpkin, uh, Gabby Marino, Battenfield for the Indians PC, Miguel Amaya, uh, Taj Bradley. I thought this was a great looking card with the blue. So see how it looks. Possibly send this one off. Have to take a look at under the light. This one's to nine ninety nine. There's a Rokio silver foil. True Nolan Jones. Actually, there's two. Is there two of these in there? One was the debut. Oh no, there's two of these in there. Okay. So I got two Nolan Jones. Excited to see this. Nobody jumped on this, and uh, it was in there. So. Um, Actually, getting this in hand now, this thing looks pretty, pretty nice. I'm not going to grade it, but it'll go in my binder. Uh, Angel Martinez, another good one for the Cleveland Indians. Well, rubber ducks out of Akron, so 196 of 199. Um, yeah, so these are going to go to the binder PC. Let's just take a look at this.
yeah, it's pretty clean. Centering looks good. Nice card. Very cool. And then uh, let's take a look at this Taj Bradley. At first glance, it looks nice. But yeah, Taj Bradley, a bunch of rookies, some cards to add to my Cleveland PC. All right, uh, next up. I tossed that in my pile of trash. So, uh, pick this up. Um, don't buy a ton of this stuff on eBay, but when it comes available, um, you know, I'll go after something. Uh, so, I'll pick this up. Um, not on eBay, but there was one I was actually bidding on and um, kind of happy I lost it. Um, but then this one, um, I ended up seeing like maybe the next day. I can't remember. It was it was with it was pretty close. But anyway, um, happy to get this card. Uh, I have two other copies that are the centering is not as nice. Um, and yeah, I know this one has that yellow print dot here. It doesn't really bother me at all. Um, but looking at the left to right centering, I mean, just the centering of this card is. It's this is just an extremely tough card. I don't know what it is with certain releases where the card was placed on the sheet, how they were cut, and the mass majority of the population of the cards are all off centered to a certain direction. You just have those those things about them. Like in twenty thirty years, we're going to be talking about twenty two uh, Chrome update, and we're going to be saying, "Wow, this is some crappy product." But look at the low pop count because it's just so tough. I don't even know if there's a PSA ten Julio yet. Um, a few months back when I checked, there was nothing but nines. So, you know, one of the top rookies right now to get that card in a nine. And if you can get a good price on it, uh, that may be a good buy because there's just, they're just not, there's just not a bunch of tens out there for that card. Uh, if there was, they'd be surfaced, they'd be grading them and they'd people be sending them in and they're, they're just not there. I mean, I've got beautiful copies left to right. It's awesome. Surface is great. It's just the top to bottom and they're going to nine. Um, I sent out two Torkelsons. I got one back coming in this next PSA order. Both, uh, one's a nine and the two I sent out, they're awaiting to be graded, but the one on, on its way back where I, d I did see the grades, um, it's PSA nine. Beautiful card, like I said, but the top to bottom is just, uh, it's too thick at the top. So this is just kind of one of those cards where I watch all the time. I don't know if anyone else does that with certain cards. I know there's different vintage cards along the years where it's like, wow, you get that card with, um, you know, better left to right centering and so forth. Um, and there, there's, there's, uh, I don't recall that, not anomalies. There's just like, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Um, this is, uh, let me see if I can find this relatively quickly and share with you guys. I shared with this on my last live, but uh, um, here it is. Even if you can find this card in like a PSA 3 or 4, or even just a raw copy, um, this is one of those cards that left to right, you're, you're just not going to find this card centered on a regular basis. Um, but you can grab a different card out of this set. And it may be some different player, maybe more expensive, maybe a Clemente, maybe a, a common. Um, and it'll be every copy you'll see 50 to 100 on eBay. Um, and they're all going to be nicely centered. And then it's just going to come down to color, corners, edges, creases, surface wear, etc. The typical grading stuff that we deal with on a day to day basis. But there's cards like this that, you know, this one has a little corner touch down here. Um, but I've got a very, very sharp copy for my set, and it's going to get replaced by this because it's nicely centered. Um, and, yeah, this is one of those cards that, for whatever reason, it's just so tough to get this card centered. So this is a uh, 72 tops in action. Hank Aaron. There's a Cepeda rookie, the Baby Bull. Um, I've got the Baby Bull inscription on his autograph. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So... Um, will I upgrade again? I don't know. I'd have to find something with some really, really white borders and then maybe missing that to, to jump into something else. But that's what I do. I, I I tend to take my cards that I've had for years and I'll maybe throw in $50 more towards the card that I had to acquire this and then sell the other one. So an all in, you know, you're not really buying another card for a several hundred dollars. You're, you're just 
adding to your initial card to make it a little bit better, if that makes sense. That's just something I've done over the years with my set building. Set building is never complete. You can have a 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. It doesn't matter the year of the set. You just continue to increase the quality of the set, which I think is a lot of fun. So sets are complete, but they're never really done, especially for ungraded vintage or even vintage with some graded cards like I have, um, where this will go into a page binder sleeve and then um, still be in my binder. But if I see a six or a seven, that's a good price. And it's got, you know, something that attracts me to, to upgrade it and say, oh, I got to have that. I, I've been waiting to get that or I've been looking to upgrade that. I'll, I'll go back and look and see what the comps are, see what they're selling for. Okay, I can sell mine for 200 This one's 275 Is it worth the 75 bucks to, to bump up into a better grade? So if you're looking to do a set and you just need a set filler and you're not looking for graded, it's great to buy a, a, a beat up raw one to fill in your, your binder page. Um, people do do that all the time and will post something online and say, okay, I just need a set filler. I just need a, uh, you know, a spot filler for now, for the time being, so I can complete this. You know, set's been dragging on for two or three years. It's just bothering me. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a PSA 1 or a PSA 2 or an SGC 3, whatever it may be. Um, it's just a good way to to move your collection along and increase your collection in terms of condition um, with very little money many years down the road. So, and I'll do that. You know, when I go to a card show, I have my list. I have a master list um, that I know certain cards, you know, hey, I have all these cards at a four. These are my cards at a five. And then I'll just make some notes uh, completely off center to the left, uh, has a, you know, ink stain, has something. And then, or just take pictures of your stuff. Just have it in your phone, create a folder in your phone, name it, you know, upgrades for your set builds. And then when I go to shows, I don't pull out lists and things like that. Once dealers see that, you know, some of them are like, okay, maybe I could just, you know, sell this guy whatever I need because he definitely needs it. He's got a set build list. Most people are really, really cool. You come to them with a big list. If they're a common seller, multiple box seller, binder seller, um, whatever they have on their table for vintage, they'll work with you. Say, look, I, I've got these lists here. I'm going to sit down and be here for a couple hours. What could you do for me if I spent over a hundred? Can you can you do anything better than what you got priced priced on these binders? Uh, or I'm gonna be here for a while and I'm gonna spend at least five hundred bucks or two hundred. Just be upfront with them and they'll work with you. They're gonna give you some good prices because for them to have that stuff listed on eBay or deal with thirty customers to sell thirty commons versus one guy to buy thirty cards. Trust me, they'd rather deal with one person and give you a little bit of a break in the price. So hopefully that information helps you. It's kind of some stuff that I deal with because uh, I am big into the set building. And uh, that's my number one favorite thing to do about the hobby is, is uh, build sets and uh, trade out cards, swapping cards. Trading is the is probably my favorite thing to do, which we don't do a ton of. And how about these Christmas decorations? All right, let me get this box. This one's from uh, Jedi Master from Sean. Sean, thank you. I have no idea what's in here, but it's a pretty big box. What did I buy from you? you give me Pop Tarts. What's in here? All right, what we got here? It's some nicely packaged. Shout out to Adrian. If you deal with Adrian, we all reuse her boxes. These are like the perfect size for small packages. Place this over here so I don't destroy anything. Ah, oh, cool. I remember these. It wasn't too long ago, obviously, but I remember exactly what I bought now. I think that Cramo, I think he threw that in. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate that. This is a, uh, it's a magenta. I believe it's magenta atomic out of a, uh, 100. Friend Mel Reyes. It's a shame that he couldn't get it together. And he um, went to Chicago. I mean, people say he ate his way out of Cleveland because he came came back after his rookie year. Well, I shouldn't say that. Um, after we acquired him his second year back, he just came in overweight and just wasn't getting it done. Which which sucks because you know sometimes these players move on, they go to another team, and then they end up. Uh, End up being really good. Perfect example, Nolan Jones. 
just, you know, no spot for him, not enough play time, whatever the terms may be. <clears throat> and then you see them go on. It's great to see them go on and, and play well. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, I'll still pick up his cards. Nolan Jones, pick this up from Peds. Uh, give me a good price on it. But uh, typically don't go after the SGC for the modern, but I can't complain. Dual, dual tens on a Nolan Jones, but he's in the uni Indians uniform. So I'm not going to crack it. Um, Probably more or less display it, uh, but maybe throw a binder sleeve in, uh, or SGC sleeve into my binder of modern autographs. So, yeah, that's an example. Fran Mil Reyes, you know, as an Indians fan, it sucks to, because he had the power. He can crush the ball, but he just, yeah. I, I'm not sure what happened with, with him. Everything kind of just tailed off. Um, these were just some lots that he put together. Um, so, Matty Ice and um, Mike from Rippin' for Rookies put together a um, little sale that they do. It's pretty cool. I mean, you're going to get some good cards, you know, um, good stuff for your collection. And, um, you know, sometimes even the cheap stuff you snag that, you know, you're like, oh, I don't have that. Why do I not have that? I've been collecting my whole life. I'm, I don't have that. Let me let me grab that for a few dollars. And it's just like a, kind of bringing that virtual card shop to your to your computer. So that's the that's the feel. Um, that's what I like. So here we got uh, Indians lot. We got Freeman rookie, Arias rookie, J Ram, some Bowman first papers. I have a lot of this. There's Class A with the Corum Cup card. There's Beaver, J Ram again, Stephen Kwan, nice rookie in the. Uh, what do they call these? I forgot the name of this. They're real thick stock. It's a Panini product that came out uh, this year, or 2022. forgot what it was. Uh, Clement. Zimmer, nice orange. And he had some speed, just couldn't hit. Uh, McKenzie. K. Brown. Um, what do we got here? Biebs. Bell. Miles Strong, the blue retail. Tyler Freeman, like that. Cody Morris, like that. Eli Morgan, so some retail blues. i got to add those. Those will go to my PC binder. I just saved the parallels and rookies. Okay, uh, grabbed a little set of this. I think this is 86. Yeah, this is the 86 mini. These are cool. Just nothing but stars in here. You know, it's pretty cool. Baines, Fisk, Evans Butler, Jack Morris, Parrish, George Brett, Saberhagen, Lonnie Smith, Blylovin. Viola, Gidry, Henderson, Mattingly, Winfield. Very cool. Little 86 minis. Let's see what else I grabbed from him. Um, oh, yeah. Cool. Grab these. Uh, I believe these are, well, there's some duels. These are the 7-Eleven Slurpee. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, geez. They got me reading Roman numerals. So there's a set. There, there's a lot. There, there's a set here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna insult myself. I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, but anyway, these. I actually have binder pages for these. So if you go online, if you're looking for um, something to put these in, just the, the coin pages that go into binders for uh, uh, collectible coins. There's a nice King Griffey Jr., uh, Barry Bonds, and these are some multis. Uh, well, that's quite quiz and bear. I think he had some multiplayer ones. Um, but there should be a Sandberg in here. I thought I got. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say. There was a Sandberg in here that I didn't have, and then Matty Ice, he was a big Cubs fan. Um, and uh, I, did, I just kind of missed the, missed the boat. He grabbed it quicker than I could type in claim. And then a few minutes later, Sean had another one, so that was pretty cool. Appreciate that. I was able to still get the coin. Um, so these are a little bit newer. So this is the score version, 12 out of 15. What do these say? doesn't have I would assume it's a sport flicks you know but this is from score um, so yeah pretty cool Ryan Sandberg there what year is this 1991 pretty cool all right uh, L rod Luis two L rods one 2023 and this is a 2021 Bowman uh, this is a lot of chrome stars of the MLB pretty cool I, I just still need some of these these I think I'm full on and then uh, the big hurt, Frank Thomas. Um, my first one of one ever, and I've been collecting my whole life, uh, was the last year's 
uh, archives and it was this 1953 design and it was uh, the gold border with the red here 1953 design on card auto one of one I was pumped and um, may, I may get that card just authenticated in slab just for protection but I, I'm not I'm never gonna sell that card it's just staying with me forever my daughter can have it hopefully she doesn't sell it for a you know something for a, a car or something like that when uh, when I get older and you know hand it down but um, yeah, so I, I have a couple of these, and I was like, wow, do I do the rainbow on this? I don't know, but it was just there, so I grabbed it. So I'm kind of partial to this 53 design, so I picked that up. So yeah, that's that. And then uh, last but not least, this is... Um, <clears throat> that's a nice envelope here. Sean, where's my Christmas card? Jesus. I was going to get something extra in there. Here's the season. These are pretty cool. Uh, he had a couple sets of these. I've never seen these before. Um, Smoky Bears Fire Pretension, uh, Pre Prevention Team, National Smoky Bear Day, 1987. So how cool is this? Um, I just thought this was neat. And not very expensive. Not, it doesn't matter about value. I just, I, I, I never saw these images. Got Smokey the Bear. Look at those crazy eyes. That's great. Murph, oops, there's no one back here. Jody Davis, Bill Gullickson, Mike Scott, Roger McDowell, Bedrosian, <clears throat> Johnny Ray, Ozzie Smith, that's nice. Steve Garvey with the Giants. Krakow, uh, is that how you say that? And then Smokey the Bear. And then Mike Fitzgerald. That's cool. Very neat cards. So, never saw these before. And uh, when I don't see stuff, or when I see stuff that I've never seen before, and it's cheap, I'll add it to the collection. I think it's pretty cool. Maybe my daughter will get a kick out of these with the bear. So, uh, yeah. Alright guys, that's all I have. Sorry for the long video. I'm trying to shorten these things up and you know, that's tough for me to do. So one day when I do some editing, maybe I'll get there. But yeah, um, i going to link these guys' uh, channels. Check out Aiden's collection. Check out Sean, Mike from Rippin' for Rookies. I didn't get Mike's package yet. And uh, Matty Ice's package yet. But it was them three, and they kind of like take turns, like 20-minute segments, half hour. I don't, I don't know how they did it or go through a certain amount of cards, but... They kind of link back and forth on uh, online on a live stream, and uh, it's pretty fun. So, yeah, just if you're interested in something like that, check out their channels. I'll drop them in the in the uh, the links below in the the details of this video, and uh, give them a follow. Till next time.